welcome back. Uh, hopefully wherever you are, it is warm and sunny and colors are just bursting everywhere. I have to say here in Sweden, I don't think mother nature has figured out that it's spring yet, or, um, I don't know, maybe that's what spring is going to look like this year. Uh, I guess so at this point, uh, here it has been, uh, a few warm and sunny days, but more cold and rainy, uh, or sleet or snow or hail or all of that in the same day kind of weather. So hopefully, uh, you are easing into spring or I guess whatever season, depending on where you're at, whatever season uh, that you're entering into, hopefully it's a more peaceful transition. Okay, so in this video, um, I am going to be adding layer after layer of paper mache mixture uh, until I can get everything just right and slowly bring this dear fawn to life. Now, um, I've come to the decision that I am going to make this a three-part video series just so that we are keeping things to a more reasonable length um, of time in the video. So, uh, I hope you enjoy some more slathering and smoothing and uh, adding of texture. Here we go. Mixing up a batch to start slathering on another layer. Five second rule. Oh, geez.
starting on adding the eyes, one of my favorite parts. Can't be afraid to start smudging over work I've already done in order to get things just the way I want them. Adding more to really try to get the shape and the details just right. Here goes the other eye. Oh, I'm so excited. We have a nose.
I decided the ears were too big and in my eagerness, I forgot to hit record as I removed the ears and cut them down. So here is take two on uh, doing the ears. Okay, so all of that work is dried and now I'm starting on another layer of just filling in areas I think need to be bulked up a bit. Sometimes I like getting my hands dirty, so I'm going to go in with my fingers for a bit. going to finally start working on the bottom.
now to add the belly fluff and other details that need to be refined. Refining the hooves just a bit. Here she is all finished and now I'm just sanding her up a bit uh, to get her ready to be painted. Here we are, Little Miss Fawn is all textured and sanded and ready for the next step of my process. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a really complicated relationship with uh, leaving things just white. Uh, I don't know, to me it feels like uh, it's unfinished and all I see are the endless possibilities of colors that could be added to the piece. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. The next video, I will, of course, because of my inability or my difficulties <laughs> in leaving things white, um, I will be getting Little Miss Fawn painted and varnished and all gussied up and ready for her de debut in uh, the front window. 
If you are enjoying these videos, please don't forget to hit subscribe below and uh, click to turn on your notifications so that you will get the notice of the next time I post a video. Also, before I forget, um, I will also be revealing the name of our little fawn uh, next in the next video. So I hope to see you there. Until next time. Mm -hmm.